What is something you do not understand until you're older? The older I have gotten, the less social I have felt I need to be. Instead, I appreciate creating lasting bonds with a few, more special people. How doing a ordinary task can create pain. I slept on it wrong. I stood up too fast. I sat down too long. I drank water too hard. Friendship is based on quality, not quantity. The importance of proper dental care. That adults don't actually have all the answers. How there are so many lonely old people out there. At first, I thought they were all just grouchy, but now I see after college how hard it is to maintain so many friendships. Half my social circle has moved out of state, and of the half that's left, so many are popping out kids and don't have time for fun outings. Friendships take way more work, and you've gotta do that work or end up with a very small or non-existent circle. First revelation is that not everyone has your best interest at heart. After a while, you do however, realize very few people are actually evil. Wanting to eat healthy. That it's okay to outgrow friends and move on, no matter how long you've known them. Life's too short to hold on to any bad relationship. How annoying you must have been as a kid, and how difficult you made your parents' lives. As a kid, I saw everything as black and white. It's good versus evil, right versus wrong. It turns out the world is very grey, and gets more grey the older I get. You are not the center of the universe. The public really doesn't cares what you do. They are too busy living their own lives just like you. So, don't worry about looking silly or not greeting people happy birthday, because Facebook alerted you. I always knew my parents loved me, but didn't understand how much sacrifice they made, and love they gave to me, until I became a father. Discipline is not about obedience, but about self-respect and ambition. It's not about doing what the coach or dad says, but about having the will to do what might suck in the short term, to achieve one's goals in the long term. How short your life will feel when you get to an age where you're closer to your death than your birth. It'll feel like it went by too fast. That you're never really there. Life is constantly in flux, and you aren't going to get to a place where you're suddenly done, and it all just works. Many of the rules you had to follow as children really were for your benefit. The cool kids at school were just self-centered idiots. When you're 10 years old, you think that you have almost everything figured out. Sure. Some of the specifics elude you, but by and large, you're pretty clear on how the world works. Any details which aren't within your grasp are technicalities more than anything, and you know that you'll comprehend them before too much longer. When you're 15 years old, you've added the beginnings of some misplaced confidence to that self-deception. Your mind is a mess of doubt and conflicting feelings, yes. But you nonetheless have a sense of undeserved self-assurance about you. It's remarkably subtle too. If you're uncertain of your own emotions, then you're aggressively uncertain. And you sure as hell won't accept anyone's advice about how to calm down. When you're 20 years old, you're the stupidest that you'll ever be. You've, hopefully, grown beyond the pitfalls of adolescence. But you've replaced your previous perceptions with an insidious sort of naivety. There are plenty of times when you tell yourself that you're open-minded and attentive, but really, you lack the experience that would lend any kind of credence to those claims. Things which you haven't already mastered aren't worth your time, and you may catch yourself making excuses for your own ignorance. You get the idea. This trend continues throughout your entire life. Some people travel their paths a little bit faster than others, and we all live through different shades of existence, 
but the simple fact of the matter is that none of us ever really understand anything. Many folks decide to embrace that fact, effectively surrendering. Still more pretend that they're learning and improving, but just end up spinning their proverbial wheels. Certain rare individuals, the ones who watch themselves, just as keenly and attentively as they observe everything else, find ways of contributing to the world as they walk through it, but most of the time, even those unique souls are just floundering around. I had a sister pass away when she was 9 and I was 11. I took it really hard as a child. When my daughter turned 9, I realized exactly how hard it can be on a parent to lose a child so young. I could never imagine going through that as a parent. The smartest person you know isn't the one who makes everyone else feel stupid, they're the one who makes everyone else feel smart. What your parents actually went through to support themselves and raise you. It makes you cringe a little when you remember saying dumb teenager stuff like, you don't know how hard my life is. How my parents didn't punch me in the face after working a gazillion hours and coming home to my pouty bullshit is beyond me. How heartbreaking being a parent is. Taking my daughter to kindergarten, watching her let go of my hand to run off with friends. They are all moments of great pride in watching who she is becoming. But it hurts so bad. I want to scream, wait, come back. I'm the only one who remembers holding her every night till until she falls asleep because it was the only way she could. Now she just wants a hug. Every day she takes steps towards more independence and goes farther and farther away. I encourage and am so proud of her. But she is my world and there was a time when I was her whole world. Now it's my duty to fade into the background as she spreads her wings and it is a joyous heartbreak. As a kid, it seems like adults have figured everything out. Once you're getting older, you realize that very few people actually know what they're doing. The rest of us just kinda make shit up as we go. That if an older guy slash girl wants to date you, they don't see you as a mature for her age, they are grooming you, or trying to take advantage for your inexperience in life. Teens will think that hanging out with older people must mean that they are cool and special, but no. The older guys are just being creeps. If you grew up in a stable home with a mom and dad who loved each other, you can pick out that folks that didn't have that when you get out in the world. The sacrifices your parents made for you. How much of a shit you were to your parents. That your parents had feelings too, 